Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to create an empty extract in Tableau. So this was one of the most requested thing from the previous video. So let us get started without wasting much time. So what we need to understand here is first, when do we need to create an extract? That is one thing or extract with zero records. So the concept here that if you try to understand is we are letting our Tableau server to do this heavy job. So generally in cases where the volume of your data is huge, assume it is in millions, it is in billions or it is more than billions, then creating this extract might take time. So we will not have that much of time to wait, like say 15 minutes, 20 minutes like that. So in order to avoid that, there are two concepts. Okay, so if I try to show you pictorially, when you try to create an extract, okay, so assume this is our local machine, okay, and this is our data source. So from your local machine, when you are doing, Tableau is trying to connect to that data source, whatever it is, and it is creating a copy of data. Agreed? Right? So it is creating a copy of data and to this data you are connected now where is this local copy being generated or where is this process being happen this is currently happening in your local machine using the local services that we have available like say limited like our system configurations are limited our internet speed is limited uh, and we have so many limitations with that. So what will happen? This will take a lot of time. Now you have to create an extract and again, then you have to publish the same record. So which means suppose you have like say, you know, more than uh, 1 billion here. Okay. So let's say 100 billion records you have. Okay. Now what will happen? First, this will create an extract with 100 billion records, which means the size automatically increased. And again, you have to publish the same to the server which is time consuming. Now what we are doing is we are letting our Tableau server do this. Okay, do this heavy job. So what we'll do same concept, we will publish our Tableau report to server, but this time it will be with zero records. Okay, and we will be publishing it. But once it is published to server, we will flip it flip the logic so technically when we are trying to connect from local machine we will create a force of false condition or we will create it in a way that it is failing from your local machine and we will go to server we will change that condition to become true and then we will refresh it so that from server, it will refresh and it will get the entire record. So that is the concept here. That thing you need to understand. So what is happening in this case? What is happening in this case? So in lay layman terms, we are asking our Tableau server to extract the refresh from the server. That's it. Okay. In this, it is extracting the data from our local machine. Okay. So we, we want to do that. So I'm just trying to you know, connect to our sample superstore here before I do anything so that I can show you that it is generating some data here. Okay. Now, as of now, I am in live connection, right? We have created some worksheets or dashboards, whatever you have. Now I am creating a parameter so that I can specify the force false condition. Okay. Which means I'm forcefully, I'm letting that fail. So I'm going to create a parameter and I'm calling this as an empty extract. Okay. And I'm choosing this, the data type for this as Boolean and I have true and false in that. Okay. So this is what we need to know. Click on okay. So I am showing uh, this parameter. So this parameter will act as a toggle button for us. So that when we are publishing this, we will publish with zero records. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm creating a calculation for this. Okay, I'm selecting true here because I want that. I'm going to, I can do like this also, click on this, create calculated field, and I'm writing it as, uh,
empty extract. Okay, that's it. Click apply. Okay, now we have a condition for that. Now we want to create an empty extract. Okay, so before uh, I do that, I am just taking uh, as one here and see how many records I have number of records. And if I try to drop it here, maybe I'll do count here. It's not okay. No, no problem. Uh, even if I take order ID and drop it on this, and if I make it count, so total we like say we have ten thousand one ninety four number of records right in our data set. I'm going back here. I'm going to right click on my data source here. And I want to create an extract. So I'm clicking on this extract data and I want to add a filter. So I'm clicking on this filter selection, add filter. So here you can choose the calculation that you have created. So we have created a calculation called as empty extract. Okay, I'm selecting that because that is a default value that we have here, but I am excluding this from here. Okay, forcefully I'm changing my selection. So, okay, so parameter from parameter will get true. So whatever the true value I got, I'm just excluding that. Click on OK. Now, if I click on this save settings, I'm saving this as empty extract. Click save. Now, when it saves, now see here, we do not have any records or our chart has become null. Even if I go to this thing, it is zero now because we do not have any records. So this is our test that, you know, we do not have any records in there. Okay, now what will you do? Our extract file is now created with zero records. So we will again go to server, publish the workbook. And from there, what we'll do is we will change this selection to false. So once you change it again, simply click on the refresh, go to extract. And if you click on the refresh, you will get the entire records into the extract file. So this way you can create an empty extract, publish it to server, and from there you can refresh it so that you will get entire records. Okay, I hope this uh, has helped you in creating an extract. If it does, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.